Hello and welcome to yet another of the computer YouTube video tutorial. This is also continuing from the previous two videos I made, applications that I highly advise that you get if you have a Mac. So the next one, so I'm just going to scroll over and switch tabs. So many of you know about iCalendar if you have a Mac, or maybe you prefer Google Calendar, or whatever. But, as you see, I kind of plan, overly planned this out, but it works for me so it's really nice but it's not quite enough for me I mean it's good for playing when I have to do something and yes I need to know when I kind of it's when it's time to go to sleep but it's not good to know like when something do like homework assignments which is why there's an app I call I procrastinate I procrastinate. So, now also, if you've seen the Lion preview, or excuse me, not the Lion preview, if you've seen iOS 5 preview, I know that notification, or excuse me, not, I can't remember anything. If you've seen that, then you know that um, they have a version of this coming out, sort of. Reminders. It's pretty, I think it's nice, but I think this, for the fact that it's free, and you can put it on your iOS device as well, and I'll get to that in a minute. I think it's pretty much it's worth it, even if you have to add a little bit. You have, like, you have to hit the sync to sync it over your iOS device. I think it's definitely worth it. So, I procrastinate. Do it today. I mean, you can select math, English, science, history, Spanish. You can create any tab you want. Just press this button edit subject, you can select any color for it you want. Now I admit this isn't the easiest way to choose colors, but it's the way, and you can select any of the, I think, 16.7 million colors. I don't even know how many there are. I mean, it's a really nice program, and it's just, I'd highly advise getting it. And the best part is, it's free, as I said. You can either, if you, like me, have either Snow Leopard or Lion, you can go into the Mac App Store and download I Procrastinate. It is free, which is really nice. And you can see it's this is a bit better than mine, I guess, since it's summer for me right now, so I don't have much assignments to do, but I mean it's a really nice version. I mean it's a really nice application. So just install it. Download it, open it, you're good to go. Although, if you want to sync it with your iOS device, you have to set up a little, when you hit sync, you see it's Dropbox sync, you have to set up Dropbox, but that takes all of 30 seconds. It's really nice. So, also, if you don't have that, just go in iprocrastinateapp.com slash Mac. You can get it. It's really nice. I mean, another nice detail, like details of it. And you can also do steps, like for this report, rough draft, final layout, bibliography, final draft. I didn't show you the steps, but you can do that. Really versatile and definitely worth it since it's free. Now, as I said, you can have it on your iOS device as well. Just go over to iTunes, iTunes Store. I procrastinate and search and it'll come up. Now the thing about this, this costs 99 cents to buy the app. And but you see it's a really nice layout. And I'd show you on my iPod, but I don't have a way of doing that right now. So I mean my webcam is not exactly the greatest, so but Really nice app. Take my word for it, you've seen these pictures. I'll show you a little more about this. Oh yeah, and this 99 cents. I mean, really, you can buy any app for 99 cents, pretty much. Just show it out. So, and then the window, of the calendar. And you see the steps are, oops. Show steps, yeah. I mean, 
definitely worth it. So in the preferences, I have the steps disabled right now. So you see Dropbox. You can also use local device, Bonjour. But I mean Dropbox, you can sync it anywhere. And so yeah, it's really nice. And, oh yeah, and there's a calendar interface. Show you what you have to do when you gotta do it. Really good program. I mean, you can even make a backup for it. Overall, definitely worth my money. Also, steps. You can make your own steps, like step one, import. Step two, get. Oops, get artwork. That you can even link a file to it, so that when you like, when you start working on this task, it'll open a file for you. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything a program better than this to focus on what you need to do. So that's really it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and download these apps. And if you have any questions, leave a comment, send me a message, and once again, please subscribe.